Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at unique add-ons that change Blender. There are so many add-ons for Blender, most of them are content libraries of different things like plants and cars, but there are also unique add-ons that completely change how Blender works or that introduce totally new functionality to Blender in a unique way. And that's what we're going to be looking at today in this video. At number one, we have the node editor timeline. Blender comes with one timeline but this add-on turns your node editor into a second timeline. You play your nodes in a sequence like they are keyframes in a timeline. This can be very useful if you want to show the progression of your nodes or if you want to create unique transitions from one geometry nodes setup to another. Just imagine the possibilities. You can use this add-on for learning geometry nodes by playing back geometry node setups by other creators to see how they made what they made. Number two, projection modeling. If you want to make unique models, try this projection modeling add-on. You can projection cut different shapes from others, making very unique and interesting meshes with this add-on. This add-on is perfect for hard surface modeling or creating kit bash assets. Number three, cell fluids. If you are tired of waiting hours and hours for Blender to bake water simulations, try this cell fluids add-on. No baking needed, everything is real time. The water is highly detailed with materials and form, and you do not need hours to preview what you have created. Cell fluids is great for creating river rapids, ocean waves, and very large water bodies. It's lightweight and not resource intensive like matter flow. Number four, procedure traffic. This add-on can be used to create procedure traffic. It comes with over 400 cars, all animated with smart obstacle avoidance. When a car detects anything in front of it, it will slow down and so will cars behind it, causing the expected traffic behaviors we see in the real world. Cars can also swap lanes, overtake each other, and do a lot of things you, you would expect in a traffic situation. Number five, node tree organizer. When working with geometry nodes, most artists just go through the nodes without caring about organization. So if you download a geometry nodes project from your favorite artist, you may want to use node tree organizer to organize the nodes in a way that's easy to follow and understand. Number six, curve loft. If you are modeling objects from reference images, try this curve loft add-on. You can align different curves to fit your object profiles at different areas. Then using the add-on, you can connect them into a mesh, saving you a lot of hours in blocking. The add-on is great for creating object profiles or silhouettes that you can later transform into detailed meshes. Number seven, VDB loops. If you want fog, fire, storms, or clouds in a looped animation, the VDB loops add-on comes with a collection of different loop VDBs you can choose from. There is fire, smoke and dust, all different categories that come with different templates you can choose from. Number eight, we have UV Flow. This add-on changes how UV in Blender. It's UV unwrapping at light speed. You can create sims and UVs will be generated on the fly for you. And if you don't want to make sims, the add-on can take care of that as well. Creating procedural sims that you can customize when needed based on the angle and cavity of the mesh. Number nine, smart nodes. The Smartify nodes add-on brings smart materials to Blender. These are materials that take mesh geometry into consideration. It's a drag and drop solution to adding environmental effects to your materials like moss, snow, dust, lakes, and more. The add-on generates smart masks that direct where dust, snow, or dead leaves will collect on an object, creating materials and objects that blend realistically into their environment. Number 10, Visual Light Analyzer. Speaking of unique add-ons, this is a light analyzer. If you want to get technical with your lighting, you are going to need this add-on. It shows you the hotspots or overexposed and unexposed parts of your render. And if you want to be even more technical, you can see the path taken by individual light rays from your light source. Number 11, Easy Hair. There is a new way to create hair in Blender. This add-on just lets you draw curves on a mesh and it will generate hair that flows in the direction of the curves you have drawn, saving you a lot of time and work grooming and trimming the hair 
you create manually. And if that's not enough, the add-on can use weight maps or weight painting to generate hair that flows in the direction of the weight map. Thank you for watching. Those were some of the unique add-ons that bring new functionality to Blender that I thought you might find interesting. If you want to learn more Blender, here are some previous tutorials I made for your viewing. Oh,